Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, our afterlife guest is Princess Diana. Now, if you're interested in other videos that I've done with Princess Diana, go ahead and check out the playlist here at Above Life Channel. Today, I'd like to focus on a couple of things. It is very timely that I am doing this video because I really want to chat here in the spring of 2019 with Princess Diana, grandmother-to-be once again and this happy energy time. So I wanted to chat with her about the incoming baby expected with Harry and Meghan. And I also want to chat with her about a few other things. So join me, won't you? All right, so I have some, I have prepared for my conversation with Princess Diana. She feels so, she's always such a beautiful energy when I connect with her. So I feel like I want to honor her and recognize her. So I have my sundress on today and I have a little bit of, I have hot water, warm water in my teacup today to celebrate and connect with Princess Diana. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Okay. All right, so I know that I don't have to wear a hat or head covering. You're not like formal princess connected to the monarchy and there's not all these rules for you, but I wanted to make sure that I, I, I really respected the energy that you bring. So I actually am gonna pop this off right now because I don't really want to wear it during our channel, but all right. Princess Diana, welcome. She says, thank you, it's a pleasure. It's my pleasure, it's our pleasure to connect with you and your beautiful energy. First of all, I'd like to say on behalf of all of the viewers here at Above Life Channel, congratulations, new baby coming, new baby coming any moment now. We are recording this in March. So can you give us any clues or tips on that new baby? Now, I don't follow the, um, I don't follow the uh, the news and stuff uh, too much. What I see is usually just some social media stuff here and there, but I, so I don't know if the gender has been revealed or not. And she says, no, she says, no, <laughs> uh, I think it's a boy. <laughs> and she says, oh, a little girl would be lovely. And she says, um, and then she says, as long as the baby is healthy. Yes, of course. And she said, um, okay, so here's what she's expressing. She says, it's wonderful. It's wonderful for Harry and Meghan. She's very, she couldn't be happier. She's so pleased with, she's so pleased with his choice of a spouse and that she, he's found love, someone to love him and to match his sense of adventure, she says, to match his adventuresome nature. <laughs> They are quite, quite a good match, she says, quite a good fit. And the, um, she's sharing with me, um, uh, so there's a, multiple things coming through right now. I'm seeing, so I'm clairvoyant, remember, so I can see the energy of the imagery of what she's showing me. She's showing me like an old photo album and it looks like um, Harry and William, so Prince Harry and Prince William, but Prince Harry specifically in, um, looks like private school. And when they were, he was a little boy and uh, in like a, a sports coat buttoned up with a white jacket underneath it and uh, shorts, long shorts that match the sport coat and then tall socks and shoes, black shoes. And it, so it kind of looks like almost maybe a private school uniform or it could be a uh, special occasion or something. And uh, he's, he's quite small. He's small. He's small. I, if I had to guess, I'd say seven, eight, eight or nine, eight, eight, I think eight. Yes, eight looks like. And I'm feeling like, um, and she says adventuresome. He's adventuresome, he has an adventuresome spirit. And sweet little boy is the energy I feel. 
but she's a mother, so of course, our, all of our children are sweet, even if they cause us to worry so much about them. So, so as far as the baby is concerned, is there a gender that you can maybe say for us? I'm so bad at gender, you guys. I'm not, I'm not really one to, um, to say because the male, female energy, we're all both. And so it's hard for me to identify the actual gender because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't always feel the way it is. So, you know, it's interesting. Um, she doesn't really, she doesn't want to say it necessarily, but I feel like she knows. Um, there's a little girl energy is what I feel, but I personally, as Bridget, I feel like it's a boy. So I don't know, she's not really specifically saying, but I feel around her, there's a little girl energy. And there's something about the name Rose or something with the name Rose. And I don't know whose name that is or what the deal is with that, but something about Rose. And I don't know if it's Roses or the name Rose, but a Rose, I see a Rose energy there. And then she talks about her grandmother or a paternal grandmother for her that um, was loving and kind and that this energy is familiar to that. There's a loving kindness energy that comes through with this baby. And I feel it feels like the baby will be healthy. There's something about the birth weight though. Um, it's either too, it's either a little bit smaller than expected or bigger than expected. There's something about the birth weight that is not typical average or what you might expect. I'm not alarmed by it. I'm not super worried about it. Everybody's very excited about the baby. She says, of course, of course. And then, so I see William and Kate, and you have three grandchildren with William and Kate. She says, yes, yes, beautiful grandchildren. Is there room for more? And she says, there's always room for more. There's always room for more love, more love. They are a wonderful family, she says. They are a wonderful family. There's lots of yellow energy around that, you guys, when I bring up William and Kate and their three children. So there's lots of yellow. So what does yellow mean? Well, if you've had private session with me, you know color is important and I share that um, with energy and our connection and I talk about what it means for you when it shows up in a session for you uniquely. But in this case, the yellow is connected to solar plexus energy or spirit chakra. And so that feels like to me, that she is showing us that there is a potential for another baby. And I feel like there is another baby, but there might be a gap in, um, in when the next baby comes. Um, April feels like important. Um, I'm not sure when Megan is due, but April feels like a timing thing. So perhaps in April, she will have her baby. And then I see April 11 or April 17. Um, and then like overnight, the 21st to the 22nd, I'm not sure what these dates mean to the royal family, but Princess Diana with our connection with her is showing me these dates. So April 11th, April 17th, and then the overnight of April 21st to the 22nd. I'm not sure what that means for the royal families. So for William and Kate, I don't know if it's a birthday or the children, if it's a birthday for one of the children, she's acknowledging that Bridget has no concept of put it in the comments below, or if it's with Megan and Harry and baby coming, because I feel like April to May, they're supposed to, the baby's supposed to be here. Um, prior to Mother's Day, um, Mother's Day is something, there's like a celebration on Mother's Day. So I feel like, I don't know, in the UK, I don't know if there's a, if they do a big thing on Mother's Day for the monarchy or anything like that, but it feels like a, a big day. Hmm. Two additional names come forward and I'm not sure. Um, and I keep calling her Princess Diana and she, she tells me that I can call her Diana. I can speak with her by first name, but I don't feel like I can, <laughs> it's too formal. It's like, I feel like I need to be formal with you. So two other names come through, a Margaret and an Elizabeth, and obviously Queen Elizabeth, but there's also a Margaret energy. So I don't know if this is a namesake thing, or I don't know if it's a sister. Margaret is a sister maybe of Elizabeth, I don't know. But those two names come forward. And what else is there? Let's see, what else can we chat about? Um, so will there be more children for Harry and Megan? Can you share that? Or is that like something? I feel like 
So I want, if I may, I'm going to share this. Um, Princess Diana is very um, respectful of their privacy. She's very respectful of the boundaries. I think that's beautiful, and of course I would expect that. But for channeling purposes, um, we got to talk about something that you can talk freely about so that they can know that we're channeling, that you and I are actually speaking, right? Yes, there will be more children. They will be blessed with more children, she says. And they will continue to travel. And there's some kind of project or something in India is what she's showing me. Um, and something with orphanages or um, single mothers or something over there. I can see that. And then let's see if there's anything else here. Continuing the work is what she's saying. Continuing the work. I also see them in Africa and specifically related to AIDS in Africa. Um, I don't know if there was a, a charity or an organization or some kind of health care programs that maybe Princess Diana started that Harry is continuing. And so Africa is a tie for that. And there's something over there that he is continuing the work. And she's just mentioning that. She's on, you know making the connection. There's also a school, like starting a school or something. That's important to both Megan. It feels like Megan, that's important to her um, and Harry together, but Megan's thing feels like school. And not just girls, but children, school children. Again, I see orphanage energy again, but that was India stuff, but I feel that children. All right, so can we talk about something else besides baby? That's why I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to get some, I wanted to see if I could get a scoop, you guys, <laughs> before the baby arrives. Uh, Bridget, again, to recap, Bridget feels like it's a boy. Princess Diana's giving me a girl vibrational energy, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, there's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of joy. Um, there's a lot of pink energy as soon as i as soon as i said that also i see a pink energy aura <laughs> okay are you trying to give me tips well pink you guys is also heart chakra and unconditional love and compassion of course right so and she says they can name the baby the child whatever they would like to name the child and um because in my mind, I'm thinking about the name. I'm like, oh, they should, if they had a girl, wouldn't it be lovely if they named her after Diana? And she says, her so she responded to me. I could, response, right? Feel the response. And she said they can name the child whatever they would like to name the child. They can use, they don't have as many rules, Harry and Megan, as William and Kate do. But can you give us any kind of insight on that? Um... Princess Diana says that they, they will most likely remain in the um, somewhat close to the standards or the protocols for naming for children in the royal family, she says, but they won't feel as restricted by it. So you might see something along the lines of a traditional name as would be expected by the monarchy and a uh, unique name, a more, almost like a gender fluid name or a, a cultural, a name from a, a culture that they love and they, they appreciate. So there could be a namesake kind of a name and then another name that's more reflective of their world travels or of something that's not gendered or not expected. However, it's interesting that you say that not expected because then she kind of smiles and she looks down and she says, Harry will definitely make his own way, won't he? And he certainly has found someone that they will create and he, she says they will carve their own path. So that would be especially important, she says, especially important when there are children and then she says, leading by example is, is the most loving thing you can do for your children. Hmm. And she says, you know, it's not so much about, it's not so much about protecting them. 
it's more about allowing them to become the people that they are meant to become, to allow them to grow on their own without the, um, the rules or restrictions or the rigidity of expectation. They will already have that because there will be many eyes upon them. So it is, it is most important for Harry and Meghan to feel that they can raise their child as they choose. And part of that is to claim the identity with the naming of that child. And I think you will see, and not unexpectedly, them honoring tradition, but also opening things up a bit. And I would, of course, expect that from Harry. And she says, of course I would. Of course I would. And then she feels very proud. Of course I would. And she's smiling so big, you guys. So beautiful. Princess Diana has a beautiful smile. It's very captivating. And it's very sincere. And she says, thank you. Thank you. She says, a, a smile, she says, a smile should always be sincere. It should always come from your heart. A smile should come from your heart. Okay, I'll quote from Princess Diana in the afterlife. Congratulations, really congratulations on another baby. How exciting for you. Thank you. She says, thank you. All right. I, there's other things I want to talk to you about, I would like to chat with you about, but I feel so enamored with your energy. So I invite everyone to feel into the energy as they are watching the channel and this half-sided conversation because I'm sure that might be a little bit frustrating for some who are watching this Princess Diana channeling here at Above Life Channel. But I would love to invite you as a viewer to feel her energy. So just take a moment to feel her energy. I actually feel it in the heart. And the energy that's connected in the heart, which of course is completely common to Princess Diana. And now I see a ruby. When I said heart, I see a ruby that looks like a piece of jewelry that's red, a red ruby. That's a heart. Of course it's red, it's ruby, right? But it's a heart and aligned with diamonds. So a heart that's red aligned with diamonds around it. So I see that. And when we connect with Princess Diana and, and the heart energy is very much her own. However, that red color, oh, she has got desire in her and passion in her. She is passionately an advocate and her energy is, while it can be so sweet and, com and compassionate and empathetic and just beautifully loving and unconditional, she has got fire. She has got passion. And as we are connecting right now, the throat chakra, the throat is activated. So to communicate that heartfelt energy, that authenticity and that passion is part of the energy that she is bringing forward right now. So can you help me with that and let the viewers feel it? Just breathe into the energy in your heart, open your lungs to be able to receive the beautiful energy. Feel the energy of Princess Diana for yourself. Feel it now. This is how you as a viewer are psychic. You are clairsentient, you can feel sense energy. You really feel it, that's why you're here. That's why you found this video. So feel Princess Diana. Allow yourself, feel her energy, soften the shoulders, breathe in, expand and open the heart and feel the energy. Feel it in that heart, heart chakra. Open up that heart, that communication channel and feel the ability that you have here and now to connect for yourself and feel her loving kindness energy. Let's just feel that for a moment. Ooh, nice. She has this energy that's coming in to the mind, to the head, and with positive thoughts, there's a kind of a gentle, just flow of energy in the, the mind. And then I see flowers. So very positive energy, very calming and soothing energy. Just because the energy is calming and soothing as you are connecting, again, does not mean that that's always the energy flow. 
that passion and that advocacy, that desire to really make a difference starts within your own life and your own heart right now. So that is in part the message with Princess Diana today, along with the joyful energy of the springtime and new baby and all of the excitement and the adventures to come for Harry and Meghan, let's just say, that comes with that. So congratulations to the, the royal couple. And thank you so much, Princess Diana, Grandma, Princess Diana. Hard to believe that, isn't it? That you'd be a grandma again. <laughs> congratulations to you as well. This is Bridget. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this channeling video with Princess Diana in the afterlife. You are here at Above Life Channel. The purpose has been to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Remember, this right now, this is your life. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.